Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel and to a very unusual video here on my channel because I'm gonna do a haul. It's a B&M haul and I will very, very rarely do hauls here on this channel for obvious reasons, but I have been into B&M and I thought you might be interested in some of the things that I picked up. I have sinking funds for this sort of thing, this sort of purchase, so it's all about knowing that when I have the money in the account, the sinking fund for house or anything like that, that I have saved for it and I can guilt-free spend. So that's what my sinking funds are there for and that's the purpose that they serve and it does help when you are used to not spending money to then when you spend money to have a sinking fund to do it guilt-free. Anyway, I'm gonna share with you uh, a B&M haul, which is really, oh, really, I got way more than I thought I was gonna get because I actually went in to get a couple of, in fact, I'll tell you what I didn't get was the one thing I went in to get, which was some labels for my jars for my kitchen for my next Organize My Kitchen With Me video. You know that scene in Friends with Chan Bing and um, what's her name? And she's like, he seeks me out. This is Maggie. She, can you listen? She's licking the bag. She's been asleep all morning. I go to film this video. Here she is licking the bags. <laughs> she's come to join in. We know she loves to be on YouTube. Let's show your fans. Let's show you to your fans. Say hello. Say hello. She actually probably wants something in this bag because there's something in there for you, isn't there? There is, there is. Let me show you what it is in here. Let's get this one out and out of the way. Oh dear me, oh dear me. Here we go, here we go. This is what you want. The wee box, these were a pound. I get these whenever I go to Home Bargains or B&M. Oh dear, I've broken it. There we go. She loves them, they're like these like weird meaty sticks. I'm not gonna get it out because my hands will stink. So anyway, grab yourself something to drink, get cozy. Let me know if you've seen any of these in, in store yourself or maybe something that you might pick up yourself. Let me know. And yeah, let's get into the video. Okay, I'm gonna share with you at the end how much I spent. And I have to say, I was actually quite shocked when they said the amount, because obviously things have gone up a lot recently across the board, across all shops. Things have just gone up in price so much, haven't they? It's like ridiculous. Uh, I'm gonna find the receipt at some point during this haul, I expect, and I'll share with you at the end. All right, so let's get stuck in. First of all, I bought these reusable lint and hair catcher balls which are for the washing machine and I thought that was quite cool because often I get like bits of lint well all the time uh, stuck on our washing so you literally just chuck those in and then uh, hopefully it will all stick to this rather than your clothes so I thought that was really interesting they were really inexpensive as well I will share the receipt at the end for you uh, next I bought these dust magnet packs because we've got lots of high ceilings in this house and I try to do it with the vacuum cleaner but often it sort of like whacks the wall and marks the wall so I feel like I can use this. I also bought this which is not a flash product but I'm hopeful that it's going to fit so I bought this which comes with two duster heads and then a refill pack of five duster heads so I can just sort of get around on these high ceilings and get the dust down because let me tell you there are so many cobwebs because in our bedroom it's so high and here it's so high and I can't reach it so yes I bought those two things the next thing I bought with this mirror which was uh, I won't show you because you'll see all my washing in the background to be honest with you this was two pounds fifty and it's going to be in my bathroom because the boys have got my mirror and I just feel like I've got a nice mirror but then I want to have like an additional mirror to look where the sun comes in to do my makeup. So I got that one for me. Um, some hand soap, which was the least expensive one that they had on offer. Uh, that's an astonished one. And I'm gonna fill up, let me show you what I bought to fill up. A bit fancy for the kitchen. Uh, this £2.50 apothecary style amber glass. So I don't know if the green's gonna go in it. It might go a bit of a weird color, but this was the cheapest one there. So I'm gonna fill this up for the kitchen sink and then also the downstairs bathroom. I, we've got these in all the other bathrooms, not these ones, but similar from uh, HomeSense, I think. They are refillable. So I just, I just prefer the look of it on the side to like this. 
So yeah, I've got those to refill. Oh, next up I got these microfiber clean cloths. They were two pounds because I find that our microfiber cloths, even though I wash them all the time, I put them in Zoflora, uh, to disinfect them. They stink after a while. Do you get that? I just disgusting. So I bought two extra ones of those and also for glass I bought these ones which are the Minky M cloth high density microfiber glass and window because I cleaned my win my mirror in my bathroom the other day and it is so streaky you can't actually see through it or at it. So yeah I bought that chemical free cleaning so hopefully that'll be a, an easy product to use. Okay, so I bought this, which is Weedle, which I got for the garden because we've got loads of like, I can't think what, what it's called, Japanese, no, that's something really bad, isn't it? It's basically growing up through all of our lavender and also on the bark as well. So something's obviously been bought in from a seed or you know something being landed in the garden and it's just gone crazy. I can't use it at the moment because it's raining too much. And I think you're meant to use it from April time. So I am gonna wait, but I thought if I've got it, then I know once we get some dry weather, I can use it. I got these because they're my absolute favorite thing. Almond treats, they're so basic, they were a pound but I love them so much. They're delicious and George loves them. Henry loves them as well, but he picks off the almond on the top and gives it to George basically. So yeah, that's a little weekend treat for us all. My, I, I don't think I've shared my health update yet, have I? I'm not sure, but I, I may have done, but I'm basically trying to get fitter and more nourish, nourish my body more and just be healthier. So I have not eaten any treats this week. So that'd be nice for the weekend. Next is his bath mat. It was nine pounds, but it's, it feels like really good quality. Uh, it says happy on it. It's for the boys' bathroom because they've got a really small bath mat at the moment. And when they shower, we have to put like towels down because they get in the water everywhere, kids. <laughs> and uh, yes, yeah, so I thought this would be nice in their bathroom because it'll go with the tiles up there. I bought these crayons and they've already been opened, so they're not in there anymore. But this is the crayons that I bought. Uh, they didn't have a price on them, price tag, but similar ones were three pounds. They're just really nice pencils and they love doing Kids Art Hub. It's a really good YouTube channel where they can draw along with someone drawing on the video and it's really good and they love it. So that's for their coloring. Okay, so I bought this set of mugs. You know I'm on this like mission to try and very slowly upgrade like the things in the house that we've owned for years. And I'm talking like decades of like old mugs that nothing goes. And I, I love a mismatch crocker or like mug set, but I also quite want like a set as well. So I've been slowly buying different ones and like taking my time with it, not like all in one go. And I found these, they're so cute. Oh, there's a receipt. So these were three pounds each. I've got a lemon, an orange, and a strawberry, and I thought they were so sweet. And they were, yeah, three pounds each, and nine pounds for the set. But yeah, I, they were just giving me like holiday vibes, really nice, and actually I just bought a phone case with all lemons all over it from Amazon, so yeah, thought they were really sweet to have, and probably put them on display in the cupboard because we've got like the glass fronted cabinets in the kitchen, so they might look quite nice like on display. I was looking for this this morning, so I did this last this shop last night. I was looking for my my granola, so I've got this one. Apparently, Mo not Mo Salah, what's his name? Mo Farah. Mo Farah has brought out a range of food, uh, and it's um, I was looking at it, and it's like the least high in sugar. So that's why I went with that one, just for something I can have in the morning with some banana on the top or something like that. I'm actually really hungry now, so I might have a bowl of that for lunch. Okay, next up, I bought the cat some food. Maggie got fish and meaty selection. This one comes with extra... What? Why is it shaky? It comes with vitamins and minerals, this one. Extra uh, meaty selection. We've tried her on like the senior stuff and she will not eat it, so, oh. I just opened the wrong bit, didn't I? It's meant to go around here. Oh well, here we go. She can tell, she's coming up underneath me now to try and get some. She's got food in her bowl. I don't know why it's, I wanna know why it's all rattly. Oh, it's not, it's just that they're, it sounded like there were like biscuits in there or something. Ooh, Maggie, she's looking at me like, what have you got? Beef, chicken, tuna, salmon. I mean, you're probably not interested in that, but yeah. 
So I bought that for Maggie, she'll like that one. I also bought this for Maggie, and I'll do a BU roll cutaway here because she has been obsessed with it. It is a little catnip toy, and I figured she deserves a little treat. And I got this for her, and she, as you can see, has absolutely been loving it. It was £2.50. I think it must run out after a while because the mouse we got her quite a few months ago, she's not really interested anymore, so I think the catnip's gone in it. Next, I bought this bin, which was in the um like sale bit uh two pounds for george's bedroom it's a bin what more can i say uh, i also bought some wrapping paper as i walked past it this was 99p just for some parties that we've got to go to and for said parties i bought these as a present giant hatching dino egg george loves this sort of thing and he's got three parties to go to well one's a joint party and then another party in two weekends in a row so yeah i thought i'd get these for them uh and hopefully they'll like those i hope and also a, f a big torch because we don't have grown-up stuff like this we don't have it we when we first moved into this house which was almost a year ago can you believe we um, had a massive power cut for the first second day for the whole day and our friends thankfully live on the road and they bought a massive torch and I was like we need this sort of equipment in our life in case it happens again so I bought that um, it was I think oh it's eight pounds and it's got a little handle so yeah that's something to keep to hand and that is it that's everything I bought and as I said I was quite shocked when they said the price just because in general things have gone up like I don't think Certainly B&M is obviously much more value than other places and I spent £92.25 which is a lot uh, but I had £100 in my sinking fund for this so that's absolutely fine. It's all budgeted for what was £9? Oh the three mugs. I was like what was £9? Uh, and the dino eggs obviously I bought three of those so that was that bought it up. The Weedle was £5 reduced from £6.99. Uh, £8 for the floodlight. So yeah, there's a few like bigger items in there, bigger ticket items. Uh, the whiskers is £4.50. Uh, oh, I didn't show you my candle holders. Oh, these are so cute. They were £2.50 each. And if you remember last year, I actually wanted to buy these, but the queue was too big. So I went back and I bought them and they're so sweet. I love them, especially with the electronic candles that I've got in there, which are from Amazon. I can link them for you. In fact, I'll link my whole Amazon shop in the description bar if you want to check out my sort of Amazon favorites and things like that. Maggie's licking the bag still, so I'm going to go, but I hope you enjoyed it. And let me know if you spotted anything you like, anything you might pick up. And if you like this sort of thing, I can do other hauls, but I just, it's just not. I will do it for things like home, homeware or home stuff and sometimes outfit wardrobe updates and things like that because I think it's relevant and obviously it's mindfully spent uh, but yes hope you hope you enjoyed it guys thanks for watching and I'll see you soon bye